How's it going everyone? All of Pokemon TCG here. Back again with another episode of our Soul Silver Randomized Nuzlocke. I believe this is episode 6. It's been a while. Um, I've been on vacation, real busy. I've had some TCG openings for you guys. Actually, we're gonna take this call from Professor Elm right here. Hello, Howard. We've discovered something. The details are, well, I can't really say anything, but we want, we want you to carry that egg. My assistant is at the Pokemart in Violet City. Could you go meet him and pick up that egg? Click. Well, that was short and easy. Um, we're gonna back out of here, actually, and we are going to do a quick team recap. We just beat the first gym in the last episode. We have Cub Life, our Nine Tails, with Ember, Quick Attack, Confuse Ray, and Safeguard. We have Grande, our Celio, with Powder Snow, Water Gun, Encore, and Growl. We have Vizioli, our Bay Leaf, with Razor Leaf, Poison Powder, Tackle, and Synthesis. We have Revolution, which saved us in that um, gym battle. If you haven't seen that episode, it should be linked in the description. There was a Weezing, which could have possibly exploded on us. But we have Nightshade, Bind, Disable, and Foresight. We have Rick the Natsu, which will get trained up eventually with Peck and Leer. And then we just caught in last episode, I think, Aldwin the Agron with Headbutt, Tackle, Mudslap, and Harden. Just pretty much here to take hits for right now. So. We are all healed up except Revolution, but um, I don't think he's really going to be doing anything. Actually, he's at 1 HP. I'll just use a potion on him. It's quicker. So we got to go in here. Oh, I don't even have a space in my party. Oh, poop. Um, we're going to run back. I guess we can go heal. But in this episode, I'd like to get the whole next route done all the way up to the cave. Um, we won't, I don't think we'll start the cave because there's a lot of trainers to fight on the next route. I don't think we're going to get any new encounters. Maybe we'll get the cave encounter to end the episode, just so there's at least one encounter. Um, but we have to deposit somebody. So I think I'm going to deposit Rick. Um, you guys can let me know in the comment section, since that is where, um, I pick nicknames from. Um, It'll be a good way to get you guys commenting and stuff. Uh, if you would rather have Aldwin the Agron or Rick the Natu in our party, um, I'm really down for either, but I'm going to deposit Rick right now, only because if I really need to, I can switch into Agron or Aldwin and take a hit. So we're gonna go with that. And we're gonna heal up real quick, go get that egg, and we're gonna move down to the next route. Alright, so I know it's been a few days, so hopefully you guys are still interested in seeing this. I'm planning on taking it to the end, trying to stay as regular as possible, but this is the first chance I've even gotten to record in a long time. But um, I was down at, the, down at the beach, pretty nice vacation, really relaxed and everything. But the only reason I was able to get videos up for you guys is because Thursday before I went, I spent like six hours or sorry not Thursday Wednesday before I went I spent like six hours editing and recording and I mean I have like 25 TCG videos ready to go up right now I could just post them all now if I really wanted to but I'm not gonna do that blah 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 just give me my egg just want to get on to this next route I know I know I know all right so we are going to lead with someone else um, let's lead with Aldwin. There's nothing that really wants to hurt him unless we run into a fighting or, um, I guess a ground type would kind of suck. A Diglett or a Doug Trio would be awful because of Arena Trap. But, I mean, they're pretty frail. I probably should be reading what she says, but it's not that important to be honest. They are one of the harder trainers later in the game, even though everything is randomized. You're not going to worry about apricorns. I don't think I'm ever going to use them. So this guy down here gives us a miracle seed usually. I wonder if it stays a miracle seed or if it's randomized. It must be from the training you gave them around Violet City. The training at the gym must have been especially helpful. As a souvenir of Violet City, please take this. It increases the power of grass type moves. Obtain the miracle seed, which would be great if it's actually a miracle seed. Oops. I'm going to talk to him again. So let's check out what it was. Um, could have been an iron ball. Definitely, oh wait, duh, the miracle seed's right here. 
So it was a miracle seed. We're going to give that to Vizioli. I don't even remember picking up an iron ball. Um, I guess we can give this to Aldwin. I don't know if he has any rock type moves yet, but he will eventually. I think that's pretty good. What does iron ball do? It makes flying and levitating holders. Nah, we don't want that. Um, so we'll get a move on here. We already, we already got an encounter for this route. But a pincer. Oh man, well we can at least take this thing on with Aldwin. He can't touch us. He's not going to have earthquake or um, close combat or anything. So we're just going to headbutt it. He goes for bind and he misses anyway. So it would have done like literally one damage. And we almost do half. So I think pincer will give off decent experience. Aldwin could potentially be a really cool really good party member. I believe this egg is not going to be a Togepi. I think it's going to be randomized. This should do like one. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be randomized. So that is a separate encounter since it is a like a static, I guess it's a static encounter. Static Pokemon do not count towards um, the routes or whatever. So like legendaries, they're all static. They're all their own encounters. Next we have a Whisk Cash. See, like I do not want to stay in on this thing. This thing packs ground type moves and water type moves, and I'm slow, so I'm not even gonna take the chance and just run. I'm just going to switch out into Vizioli, because they can just take this thing out with a razor leaf. Get some training here. He goes for mud sport, so we could have done something. I don't know how much headbutt would have done though. He's level six. But that doesn't bother me, you can lower electricity's power all you want, your ground type. It doesn't really make sense. This is definitely going to one shot. So we have a trainer down here. Hopefully he doesn't have anything too crazy. We faced one that had a Charizard and a Lucario. I think that was the craziest so far. Weezing was scary, don't get me wrong, but we have revolution for that. Alright, what do you got? I haven't seen you around before, so you think you're pretty tough? I don't think we went by the... Check that once our phone number, do we? Oh my gosh, he has a Flygon. Alright, so he's going to have Sand Tomb, which we don't want to take. So we're going to go out... Ice is going to destroy this thing. So we're going to go out and Powder Snow it. Watch him go for Sand Tomb. Faint Attack. Aw, oh, we could have taken that. Dang it. Well, that's okay. He might not even have Sand Tomb yet. Oh, he has Sonic Boom. Wow, that's actually kind of scary. I wonder how much health Old One has. This is gonna one shot though. If Old One only had like 20 HP, I, I mean, he probably has more than that. He's fully evolved. But um, we'll check here a second. A Piplup. All right, so we're gonna switch. We can't really touch this thing. All right, so he has 20 HP. We would have been okay. Um, we're gonna just switch into Vizioli. Raise it, leave this thing, get it out. So Vizioli, Vizioli is pretty clutch, um, I mean, he's definitely one of the better party members right now. I'm gonna Razor Leaf this thing, should one shot, I don't know, uh, yep it does, what am I saying, it's a Piplup. <laughs> Alright, keep on moving, that trainer wasn't too bad. Who's next? Okay, so here's the chick that wants her phone number. Well, after the battle, she asked for it. Yeah, 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 she's on the phone, I accept her challenge. I'm pretty sure she asked for it afterwards. I remember that from playing through myself. So she has a Golduck, another water type that Aldwin can't handle. So we're just gonna switch right out into Vizioli. Seems like our answer for this. I mean, I would even stay in if it was a grass type on with Aldwin, because, I mean, it's neutral. And I guess most grass type moves are special, except Razor Leaf and like Leaf Blade. But other than that, I'm pretty sure. I guess Seed Bomb is physical too. And Bullet Seed. Actually, most of them, there's a lot of physical ones. It's kind of weird. I didn't think of, now that I'm thinking about it, the only ones I can think of are like Absorb, Mega Drain, Giga Drain, Solar Beam. I guess those are all special. But, um, alright, so we take that out with ease and we level up. Level 13. So, we're almost going to evolve into another Bayleaf. No, I'm just kidding. Um, we're almost at the level where we would have evolved into Bayleaf if we were Chikorita. I just realized we have a Bayleaf and a Heart from the Soul Silver. 
randomized nuzlocke. No, I don't want your phone number. Um, that's kind of weird. Yeah, I don't really know. It we had um, Cyndaquil as a possible starter, and now we have a Bayleaf. So, <laughs> and I'm definitely going to come up here, even though we are going to run into wild Pokemon, which is kind of annoying. Um, maybe I should just put out someone fast so we can run from these things. Have we even leveled up yet? Oh yeah, we have twice. Can we run? All right, sweet. I definitely want to collect all these items. Oh my gosh, I wonder if I have a rappel. Another wish cash. Do I risk it? What's he gonna have? We have sturdy anyway, right? Oh wait, never mind. We can run. Oh, phew. okay. Risking it. All right, we gotta have. Um, we ah, oh, we don't have any repels. Crap. Should have bought some. Let's go up and grab this item. A twisted spoon. So that'd be good for Rick if we ever decide to use him. That'd be pretty cool. A beautifly. I mean, we can handle this thing. Might might have like Mega Drain. Or I eh, probably has absorb right now. Yep. That shouldn't do anything. I don't think so. It's neutral and special, and our special defense is probably Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Wow. I thought it would do more actually. And we do half. Don't absorb. Ah crap. This might not kill. Is it gonna kill? This is gonna give us decent experience. Oh, this is still gonna kill. Come on, come on. Yes! Give us decent experience. Beautiflies. Oh, 138. And... Oh, not enough, not enough. All right, let me out of this grass. Are you kidding me? Come on. All right, at least it's a pincer. We can run from these things. This must be like the Rattata of the area. All right, so... We got tons and tons of trainers to fight. Which way do we go? Um, let's go fight all the fishermen first, I guess. I have to keep running from these wild encounters. Not really much I can do about it right now. All these fishermen, they, I think they usually have Magikarp. I don't think any of them really has anything. Maybe a Goldeen or something. But since they don't, I mean, Aldwin could take on Magikarps, but since they don't have water types, well, they could still, but... And he does, of course. Has a Corsola. So, we gotta just go right out into Vizioli. It's really our only answer for something like this. I guess we could go out into Grande and water gun it, but Vizioli can take care of it so much easier with Razor Leaf. I don't know how much Bubble would have actually done. I know it's super effective, but... I don't know. I don't know. It's such a weak move. And it's a Corsola. What's a Corsola? All right, so that thing goes down. Just something really random that I thought of because when I'm recording this, it is Sunday. And if you follow me on Twitter, which I'm sure most of you do, um, you know that I do a shiny Sunday where a bunch of people just participate. We all shiny hunt, see how many shinies we can get as a community. But um, if we do come across a shiny, that in itself is an encounter and we can catch it and use it no matter what. Um, I mean, we could have already caught one, like if we find a shiny in this route, even though we have already caught or missed the encounter, I'm not sure, um, we could still capture it since it is a shiny Pokemon. That is something I'd, I'm definitely incorporating because I'm not giving up a shiny Pokemon just because I'm doing a Nuzlocke. Alright, so we got a CDOT. Coblife can take care of this easy peasy. He can even Bide if he likes, but I'm pretty sure Bide goes first, so he didn't. And we get and we one shot him anyway. We're on nine tails. So that guy was pretty easy. Nothing too threatening. Corsola and C dot. <laughs> pretty weak Pokemon. I'm waiting for one of these guys to have like a Gyarados or something. Whoa, you made me lose that fish. Alright, so this guy is four. And he has a whooper. Of course he does. Why do they all have water types? I know that you're fishermen, but you aren't supposed to have water types. This is randomized here. All right, so we're sending out Vizioli. He's just gonna go for Mudsport. Not too threatening at all. Wasn't planning, I don't even know if we, ha we don't even have an electric type move on any of our mons right now. So that doesn't bother me at all. And we're gonna one shot him. He's only level five. I guess he used to be a Magikarp. <laughs> so that might mean he has a bunch of Wooper because he has a bunch of the same Magikarp. Do they get randomized to the same thing? 
No, now it's a Bonsley. Um, we're gonna switch out into Grande, just to get a little experience. Bonsley is just a rock type, so Vizioli could have taken care of him, but um, we'll go with Grande. We haven't used him. Oh my gosh, he's level 15. A rock type move is gonna hurt. Crap. I thought he was playing on level 5. Um, yeah, we gotta switch back out into Vizioli, unfortunately. I'm not risking, I'm not risking that. He's gonna go for like rock throw. He goes for low kick. That would've hurt too. <gasps> he got a crit. Oh my goodness. Good thing we have potions. Whew. He got a crit low kick. What the heck? This thing is level 15. It used to be a magic harp. That's why you could be level 15 and no one would care. Now that it's randomized, we're lucky it's not like a Rayquaza or something. We're gonna razor leaf th this thing. I don't know how much it's gonna do. It'll probably do at least half. Bonsley's defense is pretty good. Oh my gosh, it crit. Whew. That saved us. That low kicked it a lot. And I know it was a crit, but still. Nice. So now he has a Starly, so we can't stay in. Um, Grande's pretty low health. I'm pretty sure Aldrin can just handle this. Starly can't touch us. I don't think Starly gets Mud Slap. I think just Pidgey does. So I think we're good. It'd be cool to have Starly. Staraptor's pretty awesome. No, what? What am I doing? Why did I click that? He's only gonna do one damage anyway. I don't even know why I clicked that. I, I was thinking Mud Slap, and then it was just like in my brain. For some reason, Agron has Mud Slap, so <laughs> I don't know. Well, we one shot this Starly because Agron is a beast. Old one, I should say. Gotta get used to saying the names. He has a Tang Growth. Now that's power, but good thing we have Cub Life. Otherwise, this thing would be hard to take down. Oh my goodness, if we didn't have Cub, cub Life, we'd be screwed. A Tang Growth. It should be only level 5, though. So an Ember is gonna one shot it. Good thing this thing wasn't at level 15. And we one shot it. His special defense is booty. Alrighty, so we take out him. I believe there's an one more fisherman. And we level up, level 12. Our team's pretty rounded, to be honest. We got like four mons, at least level 10. I don't really know what level we're supposed to be right now. Is there one more fisherman? Yeah. And I think there's three more trainers, two youngsters, and the bird catcher down below. And then we'll battle them three guys and go get, if we have time, go get the encounter. Wait, what am I doing? I do not want to stay in right here. We're battling Grande. Oh man, what do I do? Hmm. Well, I think he's going to go for a water type move. So do I go out into Vizioli? We, we know his moveset, he's going to have Powder Snow. Um... Hmm. I'm going to go out into Revolution. I think he's... I don't know if this was a good idea. Is he, is he going to go for Water Gun? Oh, he goes for Growl. Oh, thank goodness. Alright, so... I still need to look up when he learns Shadow Sneak, because we should teach him that. He goes for Water Gun, how much is this going to do? Don't do half. Oh my gosh, that does nothing. Revolution, you are a beast. Let's take this thing out. Should be... Oh, four hit KO, maybe? <laughs> Goes for another water gun. That's alright, he's only doing four damage. So we're at least doing ten. I mean, we are doing ten. But, looks like it is a four hit KO. So Nightshade coming in clutch. Shadow Sneak wouldn't have done much because he growled us. So, that's okay. Powder Snow still does four. So, we're okay. We got this. Even if he crits us, he's only going to do 6, I think, because it's 1.5. He encores us in the Nightshade. I'm using it again anyway, buddy. And you're dead. So we're going to get some decent experience from this. Might even level up. Let's see what we get. 136. Oh my gosh, so close. Oh, I thought we were going to get there. Alright, so... Um, no. We can actually get the old rod down here. Which all fishing encounters are randomized, I believe. So we gotta fight this guy yet. How is Aldwin looking? He's fine. Alright, we're good. Let's take him on. And I think we have one more if we go up, and then one more if we go down after this guy.
shouldn't be too bad. All right, so we got Rich Boy Cammy. Sorry if you guys saw a little cut there. Um, so he is a Magnemite. Can't really touch us, and Mud. I know Mudstop is special, and our special attack is awful. But it's quad. It's I guess what do you call that? Double super effective or quad super effective? Because it's doing quad damage, isn't it? Times two, times two. I'm pretty sure. So it should be a two shot. Oh no! <laughs> miss, miss. Don't confuse me or something. All right, good. As long as we aren't confused. So we're just gonna headbutt it now. He goes for metal sound. What does that even do? Special defense? Yeah. All right, so we're just gonna go for headbutt. Take this thing out. And what else does he have? That should level us up. Level 10, nice, so he's leveling up pretty quick. We have been fighting a lot of trainers with him though. Oh, that's all he has. Okay, so we're gonna go up and take take on this trainer to the left here. And we have two items to get, so some more wild encounters to run from. And there's an Aggron, so I guess we call it Aggron on this route, because I, I honestly don't remember if we caught him here or in the ruins, but we're just gonna run. The only thing I'm afraid of is that Whiskash, is if we run into that. So we got, you can see the Pokeball up there. It's usually a Great Ball, I think. So, and the one below us actually is usually a TM. I think it's Bullet Seed. So that'd be cool, we get a random TM. And he has a Nidoran, which can't touch us at all. I get, actually, he could have a Double Kick. But I don't think that's gonna do anything. We can't be poisoned, so Poison Point doesn't matter. And he flinches anyway, that's awesome. We actually outspeed him. I know we're a level above him, but I didn't think we'd outspeed. Aldwin's speed is not very good. That was very easy. <laughs> All right, so let's go get this one that's usually a great ball. If I try not to run into as many encounters as I can, but it's kind of hard to help sometimes. Another pincer. It'd be cool to run into a shiny Pokemon in this playthrough. Maybe we will eventually. The Gyarados is also a static encounter. I know he's a shiny, so he's gonna be a random shiny Pokemon, I think, is how it works. Which is going to be awesome. We have a heal powder. And, oh no, I just want to see what this TM is. If I remember, at the start of the next episode, um, we'll start teaching TMs to people. I'm going to look up right after this is done when Dusclops gets Shadow Sneak. If it's not for like 10 levels from now, I'm just going to teach it to him. Oh, that's booty. We don't want bulk up. Not trying to set up on people, just trying to take them out. I guess it's not terrible, it could be worse. Um, it'd be cool if Aldwin could learn it, but I'm pretty sure it's Bullet Seed. So, anyone who wants to learn Bullet Seed, I mean, I don't even know if Bayleaf can learn Bullet Seed. But he does, Bayleaf doesn't want to learn Bulk Up anyway. Um, so the lady's not over here right now. Uh, that guy wants to sell us like a slow poke tail or something. I'm gonna heal up just before we do this last battle because you never know. We'll grab the old rod here and then we'll fight um, the trainer. I think I'm gonna save the encounter for the next episode only because we're at like 23 minutes right now and I don't want these to run too too long. Definitely not over a half an hour but um, I think 25 minutes is like a good place to stop. That's a good middle ground for most people. And we cleared out a route, so I think that's I think that's pretty good. So we get the old route from this guy. That'll let us get encounters in like Olivine City. I guess we'll have Surf by then, so it won't really matter. Um, actually, it'll let us get an encounter in um, what's that? Ecrotique City. We won't have Surf right away when we're in there. I don't believe, so we can get an encounter there. I remember being able to catch Poliwags and stuff, or at least, I think it was Poliwag and Magikarp, it was like all you could get. So we're definitely going to switch out to Vizioli here, because we do not want to take a Water Gun or whatever, Mud Shot or something. He goes for Mud Sport. I'm, I'm acting like afraid of these things, and they just keep going for moves that wouldn't really affect me at all. But I know the one time I don't switch out, they're going to go for like Earthquake. Actually, we could live in Earthquake probably, because our defense is awesome. But I don't know what... Uh, He'll have like Hydro Pump or something <laughs> at level 6 or whatever he was. So we might level up here. 
Nice, level 14. So our highest level on the team is our Vizioli, the Bayleaf. Coming in clutch with all these water types. He has a Swablu. So... Swablu can't really touch Aldwin or Grande, but Ice is super effective. So we'll go out into Grande. This will be enough to level him up too, that's pretty cool. I hope so, it's only a level 8 Swablu. Powder Snow should one shot. Celio is pretty, pretty decent. I think his attack is actually better than his special attack. Oh wow, it doesn't one shot. I guess Powder Snow is a pretty weak move. Once we get like, I, I think he gets Aurora Beam or something like that as like a middle ground ice move and we may have to teach him Ice Beam at some point, which may be a little tough. But um, because I don't know, obviously the TM would be randomized. 126, we're definitely leveling up. Awesome, level 13. Ice Ball. Um, I'm pretty sure we don't want that. I guess I can get rid of it for Growl, but that locks us in. So like if we use Ice Ball and then he comes in with, I don't know, what can hurt us, like a Magneton or something like that. Ice Ball's not going to do anything and he's going to hit us with an electric type move, that's going to be bad. We do not want to be locked in. It's not good at all. So I'm definitely going to refrain from using Ice Ball as much as I can. So he's sending out Prinplup. I think our only option is to go into Vizioli. I'm not going to take a bunch of turns and Nightshade it. I'm going to wait till we teach him Shadow Sneak, I think. Um, I think I'll definitely teach him that at the start of the next episode. After this trainer we'll use rock smash i think we have rock smash right and we can use it now so we'll go get that item um to the bottom right see what it is hopefully it's something good raise loose should knock this thing out we're eight levels above it nice so get some decent experience though oh my gosh that's half a level i don't know if anyone knows rock smash right now i don't think anyone does so we don't even have Rock Smash. Did we not get Rock Smash? Or was it randomized? Um, I'm pretty sure Shadow Sneak was Flash. Crunch was the gym. We didn't get Rock Smash? Oh, crap. Um, did we need it? <laughs> I don't think we need it. But that kind of bugs me that we aren't going to get that item. I don't think I'm gonna go back and get it. Um, wait, I'm trying to. There we go. That's what I wanted. Um, eh, we don't really need it. We can always get it when we fight the Suda Widow, which is a static encounter, so that'll be separate too. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This was episode six, so you guys have to stay tuned for episode seven to see our encounter in this next cave. Thank you so much.